Let's take a look at the number of valence electrons for zinc. That's Zn. So zinc is a transition metal. It's right here on the periodic table. So we have 30 is our atomic number. So we're going to have 30 protons, but we also will have 30 electrons. We can use that if we write the electron configuration. All these numbers here, they add up to 30. So this is our electron configuration for zinc. And we can use this to figure out the number of valence electrons. It's easier if we write this in condensed notation. So we're going to look for the noble gas before zinc. So here's argon right here, and then zinc if we go across. That is 18. So if we look at 18 right here, there's 10 plus 2 plus 6. We could just write argon in place of this. That'll make it easier. So this is the condensed notation. Let's move it down here. So typically when we're looking for the number of valence electrons, we look at the group number. Group number one, all of these have one valence electron. Group two, they have two. Then we skip the transition metals and so on. So the transition metals, like zinc, they're a little bit more complicated. This is a common definition on how we find the valence electrons for transition metals like zinc. So valence electrons, when we're talking about transition metals, that's the electrons outside the noble gas core. This is the noble gas core. So for zinc, you could say there's 10 plus 2. You could say there are 12 valence electrons, and based on this definition, that would be correct. But zinc's a little bit special. This d orbital here is full with 10. And we have a d orbital, and it's full with 10 electrons. That makes it really stable. It's unlikely to give up valence electrons. So I think you could make a pretty good argument that zinc only has two valence electrons, this 4s2 here. And that kind of matches what we see in reality. Zinc loses two electrons to become Zn2+. So zinc really only forms ions that have a 2-plus ionic charge. Unlike many of the other transition metals, like iron could be 2-plus or 3-plus, Copper could be 1 plus or 2 plus, but zinc, it's always 2 plus. That's because it's losing these two electrons here. And these are more difficult to lose because it's so much more stable when it has a full D shell. So it's kind of one of those things where you have to know what your teacher wants. If they give you this definition, then it's going to be 10 plus 2, 12. Probably most of the time, what they're asking you to say, though, is that there are two valence electrons and that zinc always forms ions. It is 2 plus, meaning it lost two valence electrons. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.